I put some new info on the board. A crime scene? Cool. But what about your photographic memory? Cold case. When I wasn't there, it helps to see it laid out. The detail is incredible. Commissioner Gordon? Detective Gordon, at the time. You made it look just like his statue. Now that we know about the court, I thought I might be able to close a few of his unsolved cases. Solid thinking. Oh, I'll help. <clears throat> I'm good. I'll let you know if I find anything. It's fine. Two heads are better than one. I'm sorry. I'd like to do this myself. Sure. Let me know if you need anything. Vigilante activity is on the rise of Gotham. Nice mask, I guess. Belfry, I'm here. Commencing operation, find a secret door. It will probably be well hidden. Remember the court rhyme, the court of owls is watching. From inside Gotham's walls. Hopefully it's that literal. Ominous and glowing. There's something about this door that makes me think it's the one.
Reaper's secret files are now on the server, Belfry. Acknowledged. Belfry, I'm here. Commencing operation, find a secret door. It will probably be well hidden. Remember the court rhyme. The Court of Owls is watching. From inside Gotham's walls. Hopefully it's that literal. It's spooky in here, like a lair. No sign of anyone. Strange location for it. Any indication of what they were doing there? I'll see what I can find. Moreno? I feel like I know that name. Belfry, we have an open case file on the Moreno murder. Can you look it up? Of course. The brother of Elena Moreno, a local judge. She took a leave of absence from the bench directly afterward for family reasons. It was the Court of Owls. I'm going to look around for more information. Belfry, looks like the court gave a purge order for the Chelsea Tunnel. Construction on the tunnel was shut down when the site was declared unsafe. That seems convenient. The Court of Owls must have something hidden down there. Heading that way now. Take care and keep us updated.
Belfry, looks like the workers found a huge pit, then stopped. I'll probably be out of comms range down there. Track me if you can, and I'll check in when I get a signal. I'm heading down. I'll wait for your update. This place is huge. What the hell are they mining?
spending a lot of scratch to get at whatever's in the rocks down here. Huh. Whatever they were after has already been extracted. Gotta be something here that has some of the ore in it. Extraction room. There we go. What? Nobody wants to do science with me? I guess I'll just have to grab a sample for myself. my ticket out of here. understand your place. We earned our power. We shaped Gotham into the great city she is today. We are the protectors, not you. You're just bats. And I'll devour bats.
Yeah, I'm not sticking around here. Belfry, can you read me? We seem to have you back, Red Hood. Are you all right? Everything's fine. The court's mining some weird shit called Dionysium. And it sure reminds me of... Belfry, you cut out. Hello. Come in. Hi. Damn it. Lost the signal. You take forever to do the simplest of tasks. We have things to discuss. Come find me. The court of Owls is watching, from inside of Gotham's walls. They lurk in every shadow, and they rule you, one and all. You knew we'd find the court. You were just waiting for us to stick our necks out. When I was still part of the League, we observed the court's growth in Gotham. Now you can see the city's rotten core. They're mining something called Dionysium. And it smells like Lazarus pit water to me. A foul substitute for the true miracle. A contaminated extract. 
For centuries, the court has been looking for a fountain of youth. Instead, they found the makings of undying monsters. Hmm. So they're using Dionysium to make talons, then. What do you know? Huh. So why doesn't the League make a deal? Trade the court some green goo in exchange for mindless talon ninjas. <laughs> Even in their current debased state, the League would never descend to such banality. And the court's greed and corruption prevent them from ever mastering the secrets of the Lazarus Pits. <laughs> you turned a chemical reaction into some kind of bullshit holy ritual. Oh, those are some harsh words. That ceremony resurrected you, Jason. I knew it was you, Talia. That pit scrambled my mind, but I'm still a damn good detective. I suppose gratitude was too much to expect in exchange for another stab at life. After all the shit you've done to me, I don't owe you anything. With Bruce gone, the court's operation grows. The League of Shadows will raise Gotham to the ground unless you silence the court. Cut the talking in Riddle's bullshit. You want us to get rid of the voice so the League will leave Gotham alone. What's in it for you, though, hmm? I'll do what I can to distract the League. And your path to the Court of Owls will be clear. Now I know how Montoya feels. Hey, Alfred, did the city records turn up anything? They didn't. According to the city permits, there's been no mining in Gotham City since the cauldron was completed. Judging from what we found last night, they've been digging down there for centuries. Just a listen, Alfred. Babs managed to repair some of the court voice recordings. Dionysium brought the talons back to life. Sort of. Dionysium's basically weak as hell Lazarus pit water. Brings back motor functions, but free will's as good as gone. So, what is a Talon, exactly? Some kind of feral zombie assassin? We've all seen weirder shit. Maybe. Feral zombie? Sounds like Jason, all right. I recognize a voice. 
The older woman is Constance Cobblepot, I'm fairly certain. And the others? More difficult to say. Maybe if I heard them in person. In person? Tim, put the waveforms on the screen. It's hard to find a match with all the damage and voice modulation. Maybe the matching system would have better luck if... We match what we have against the live voices. Fun, but how do we find these jackasses? Two words. Orchard Hotel. The Masquerade. The event of the season. This year's dedicated to Master Bruce. Gotham's rich dress up and pretend they're humanitarians. I've been a few times. So it's Dirtbag Central. With so many of Gotham's elite together, security at the Masquerade will be tight. Finding out their plans first would give you an important advantage. I'll tweak our masks to record telescopic audio. If we can get a good vantage point, we may be able to put some faces to these mystery voices. Sounds like our kind of party. I pinned new information on the board. I leveraged a mutual acquaintance. The head of security for the Orchard Hotel, Mr. Hendricks, has agreed to a meeting. The details are pinned to the evidence board.
Hendrix first. We've had reports of gang activity. I bet that's Hendrix. We need officers near the Gotham Naval Research Facility. I had a feeling this day was coming. You wouldn't believe the things that I heard at the hotel. Yeah, the court seems to like their privacy. Shit, they're real? That explains the masks. Look, one of my guys was feeding them info. And you know what? You should probably have all the same intel, too. Hope you got a good therapist. And thanks for the drive. This city is going to the birds, I swear. Belfry, I took care of it. Hendrix handed me a data drive after I saved him. Excellent. Please return to the Belfry so we can evaluate next steps. We're near the scene, dispatch. Party's over. Gotta go. I've uploaded the data we got from Hendrix. It should be ready soon. I've seen Bruce make that same face when he got stuck on a case. What's on your mind? Everything starts with Ra's al Ghul attacking Batman, but I, I can't figure out how it connects. You've never had to fight the League, have you? Raish is, was, a fanatic. He formed the League of Shadows centuries ago to root out corruption all over the world. His philosophy, if you want to call it that, is that he should destroy things to build them back up. He's wiped out multiple cities over the centuries. He set his sights on Gotham. Batman stopped him. He was impressed. So he named Bruce his heir. That suddenly, even though Bruce said no thanks. But it meant Raish left Gotham alone. That is until he showed up and... Bruce. Talia says Raish was behaving erratically when he died. Yeah. I put money on that not being the whole story. Hang on. What if our starting point is earlier? Batman died while he was investigating the Court of Owls. You think Raish found out about it? But why come after his heir? Raish cares about two things. 
rooting out corruption, and protecting the Lazarus pits. So if the court was using an extract from the pits to create talents... Raish blows a gasket, steps in himself. Things escalate, both he and Bruce end up dead. And without Batman keeping a lid on Gotham's corruption, the court starts to stretch its wings. The League follows Raish to Gotham, and there's nobody to stop them from attacking the court. Gotham City becomes ground zero for a goddamn war. And no Batman to save it. I guess that's our job now. Yeah. It is. And we know what we need to do. We root out the court. And we keep the League away from Gotham. I really miss him. Excellent. The drive Mr. Hendricks provided us contains exactly what we need. I've set up a safe house for Mr. Hendricks. His original one was compromised, but he'll be all right now. I do believe we have a guest. More like a pest. That damn thing never shuts up. It wouldn't be the first cat to find its way past the bat's walls. Got eyes on the little freeloader? Not yet, but I suspect if we start leaving food out for him, we may find ourselves with a new addition to the Bat family. I'll ask one of the others to swing by the pet store after their next patrol. A cat in the belfry. Guess it's not the worst thing. <laughs>